The radio's been around a long time, longer than TV, not as long as printed word, but it's managed to maintain relevance. I think what makes radio great is when someone hears someone on air that they can relate to, that, that becomes in a little bit part of their life. There's gotta be some tie to people. It's gotta mean something to the listener. Vance join Riptide Metro's Perfect Music Mix, 91.9 The Bend. It's Josh and Jen, and you're Ben Breakfast. Now, we're big cat lovers, and I don't know if you heard about this, but Karma, they're throwing this pretty cool Karma Cat Rescue Walk. Now, the coolest part about this is you can bring your cat to this walk. I actually adopted Bingley through Karma in St. John. I don't think that he's a big walker. That's why I got 24 pounds. This could be good for him, Josh. Maybe I should. <laughs> Are there harnesses? Should I just use a small dog's leash? Radio is that personal touch. It's like our announcers are talking to you specifically. You know, they provide company for you when you're traveling in your vehicle or when you're getting ready for work in the morning. Uh, sunny day today, high of 26 with a humid X of 29, partly cloudy. When I would tell people who I was working for in broadcasting, and every once in a while I'd have someone in the industry go to me, oh yeah, you guys are the ones that are still doing real radio. And what they mean by that is Acadia is still very much live. Our announcers live in the communities that they work in, including some of our bigger stations like St. John and Thunder Bay. It's live and local. We have a total of 14 stations. We have three country stations with country formats. And then the rest of our stations are adult contemporary stations. We have them in Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, and Ontario. And that makes up Acadia. I'm Chris Pearson. I'm the president of Acadia Broadcasting Limited. When I first started in radio, uh, we were still spinning some records. So there's been tremendous changes within the industry and, and a lot more competition now today too as well. My involvement in radio began really intensively in 2005, but my grandfather had acquired New uh, Brunswick Publishing, which had owned New Brunswick Broadcasting in 1943. By the time he got to 2001, 2002, and it was two stations, was it a business? Was it going anywhere or was it two stations? I was of the opinion that if we were going to do something, it should be a real business. The original station here in St. John went on air in 1928. And then eventually it evolved into Acadia and grew to 14 stations that we have today. 70s, 80s, 90s, 99.9 The Bay, eight minutes after eight o'clock. Holy, look at that sunrise this morning. Gorgeous. What a beautiful start to the day. Looks like it's going to be a great weekend, too, for you to get out and about, enjoy some time in the fresh air, the beautiful sunshine. Get out and enjoy it while you can. Part of the culture of this company is happy and healthy. You know, knowing the people, knowing uh, what's going on in their lives, not only what they're doing for work, but what happens in their own personal lives, because all that stuff affects how they work and how they do their job. So that stuff becomes really important. My name is Dave Boone. I'm the station manager here at Country 94, 97.3 The Wave, and I'm also the station manager at 91.9 The Bend in Moncton. One of the strengths that we have as a company is that we really have a belief in our people. It's 8.50 on The Bend Breakfast with Josh and Jen. Josh McClellan and Jen Block are the morning show hosts on The Bend Breakfast. They've been working together now for the last six months. We hear all the time that it sounds like we've been together for a long time, so we're happy about that because it sometimes takes a while to kind of mesh There are horror together, stories. So. There are horror stories, trust me. Dave from the SPCA is here, and uh, we have Thumper in the studio today. Yeah. The SPCA Adopt-A-Pet program is something that they started at the Bend. It's like having a cat. They're very much like a cat. Yeah. yeah. Now you've sold me on that. <laughs> <laughs> they're a cat? I don't think so, Josh. They talk about it on the air. They live stream uh, and record the pet. He's a little bit of a special breed. He's a dwarf rabbit. He's just about full grown now. He's five months old. Aww. One of the strengths that we have as, uh, as a company is how much we are involved with uh, local fundraising uh, and how much support we do. We do uh, millions of dollars in the run of a year as far as uh, donating your time to, to local charities to raise funds for projects. And, and uh, so that's uh, one of our big commitments and our staff are quite committed to that too. 
We're on the air with Jeff McAloon. Jeff is the CEO of the St. John Regional Hospital Foundation. Exciting time, MB Hospital Home Lottery just wrapped up and wrapped up early. We're thrilled. We sold out by the early bird deadline. Thousands of New Brunswickers purchased tickets this year and we're really grateful. Well, you've been supporting us on the Radiothon for six years. Uh, many events for, you know, 15 years now. Uh, you're, you're partners with us all throughout the year and helping us spread back that message. Back when we were a lot younger. <laughs> That's right, we were much younger back then. Getting our message out, our stories out to the broad community is, is critical to the work that we do. We're advancing healthcare in really exciting ways because of the work we do together. Meantime, it could be later tonight before power is restored to all residents in the Acadian Peninsula. We also fully invest in our newsrooms. We have newsrooms in each of our stations and that's getting very uncommon now. So that's a big thing that makes Acadia a little different than some of the other broadcasters today. Here you get those local stories that you might not hear other places. My name is Tara Klo. I am the news director, and I'm also the morning news anchor for 91.9 The Bend. We made the decision a few years ago that uh, we wanted to be very, very local in our news broadcast. We don't rely on Canadian press at all. We generate everything that we put on the air. Good morning. Unconfirmed reports of tornadoes in the Acadian Peninsula and 2,000 call center jobs are needed to be filled in New Brunswick. We are still the community radio station. There are a lot of other stations in the city that have cut their news departments. They're not delivering that local news anymore, whereas Acadia Broadcasting is delivering that local news. We like to stay in markets that are typically under 400,000 people. This is where we feel we're most comfortable and where we understand what the audience wants. And we've had success there, so we want to continue with that success. We still want to be that community radio station. Almost a bit of the glue that holds the community together. The events that we do here in St. John on the boardwalk are Country Star and St. John Idol. And it's a great opportunity for local musicians and talent to go out and show their stuff to the community. And I think one of the other parts about it that's very tremendous too, and it's very popular, is that it also does a great job to attract people to the businesses down there. What gets me passionate about this business is the people that work here. Everyone in the company gets a pin after they've been with us for six months, and then everyone gets a pin consecutively every five years they've been with the company. My pin is a five-year pin. I actually get my 10-year pin next year, so I'm looking forward to that. I wear mine every day because I'm very proud of it. I'm very proud of the fact that I've been with the same company for 30 years. To me, it's very important. It symbolizes a uh, team. We're very strong in the marketplace. Been the number one, number two radio stations in here for, for a long, long time. But it's definitely our people and the staff that have have made that happen. It's their commitment and involvement in the community that, that drive our success. You know, what is Acadia Broadcasting? I, I think people talk about radio stations. I don't really think that's it. What we do is we're communicating with people. We're, we're helping them start their days. Or we're helping them tell them what's going on in the evenings. So yes, we're in the broadcast business. Yes, we're on air, but we're also streaming. We're also on your iPhone. You know, we're really communicating and, and I, I think we're there to inform and entertain.